Apple is a couple of days away from the June 5th unveiling of the iOS 17 operating system, which will include some of the most requested features that users have been wanting. It will also include control center updates, active widgets, a revamped dynamic island, and more. Apple initially aimed to make iOS 17 a tune-up update focused on fixing bugs and improving performance, but now it will include several nice-to-have features. It won't have a main tentpole feature like the revamped lock screen, as Apple has focused a lot of its resources on the development of the XROS operating system designed to run on the AR VR headset. Apple still plans to make important bug fixes and boost performance, but there will be some fun features to look forward to. iOS 17 features Control Center Apple is expected to make major changes to the built-in control center in iOS 17, according to a source on the McRumors forums. There is no information on what specific changes are in the works beyond UI and customization. The control center has not seen a notable update since iOS 11. Journaling app Apple is developing a journaling app that will allow users to track and record their activities and thoughts, analyze user behavior, suggest topics, detect friends, and integrate with text messages and phone calls. Dynamic Island Apple is improving Dynamic Island to add more functionality, such as integrating the on-screen Siri interface. This would make the Siri pop-up less obtrusive and allow on-screen content to stay in full view without the circular Siri interface. Active e-widgets Apple is testing active widgets for the home screen and today view on the iPhone, which could include one-tap buttons, sliders, and more, to make widgets more dynamic and interactive. He Alth app updates. The health app will also include a mood tracking function, which will let users keep track of their mood, answer questions about their day, and view the results over time. There will also be new features for users with vision issues like nearsightedness. Wallet app. The update will conclude a new navigation bar which will allow various segments of the app to be organized. Other than this, the cards, cash, keys, IDs and orders are arranged categorically. Support for the Mixed Reality Headset Apple's AR VR headset will function on its own and will have its own app store. All of Apple's products interact with one another in various ways, and so we are expecting new headset-related features in iOS 17. CarPlay Updates Apple has revealed a new CarPlay experience with deeper integration with vehicles, allowing for car functions like volume and radio to be controlled. Support for multiple displays is expected in late 2023, likely in iOS 17 or an iOS 17 update. Support for sideloading and alternate app stores. Apple is planning to allow sideloading in iOS 17, with customers in Europe able to download apps without the app store. Developers will not need to pay Apple's fees, but Apple still plans to collect a fee. Beta limitations. Apple changed the way that developer and public betas are installed on the iPhone and iPad, requiring an Apple ID linked to either a developer account or an account signed up for the public beta. This will prevent non-developers from installing the iOS 17 beta through a shared developer profile, as every installation will be authenticated through an Apple ID associated with a developer account. iOS 17 Compatible Devices there is mixed information on what devices the iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 update will support. One reliable Twitter source has suggested iOS 17 will drop support for the iPhone X, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus. Another reliable source believes that prediction is inaccurate, and that iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 will run on all devices able to run iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. iOS 17 release date iOS 17 will be previewed at the Worldwide Developers Conference at the June 5th keynote event. After WWDC, iOS 17 will be made available to developers for testing purposes, with a public beta likely to come out sometime in July. Following the beta testing period, iOS 17 will see a launch in September 2023 alongside new iPhones, 